Hey there, how's it going? This is San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. I'm down kind of a uh, back alley here, but just up ahead, things are going to get a lot more lively and really fascinating. Today is the last day of Semana Santa, the Holy Week leading up to Easter. Actually, I guess today is Easter. That's right. I'm a little uh, off track because, you know, I'm traveling. And so I'm just going to uh, walk through and give a little taste of San Miguel de Allende here for now. I will show more in another video. I just arrived about an hour ago and checked into my hostel. So I'm going to walk over to my hostel and show the hostel that I'm staying at. I'm only there for one night, however, because I have a nice uh, hotel room comped for me for making a video for the hotel for the uh, next two nights. And so I will be showing a very nice hotel in the uh, next video, but just thought that I would uh, show a nice uh, hostel. It's quite a nice hostel and check out San Miguel here. So here's a uh, cool market. And then things are going to get a lot more magnificent in just a minute. When I get over to the uh, main plaza, it is spectacular. The cathedral and the uh, Spanish-built buildings and streets and churches and various other buildings. And so it might be a bit busier now than it will be tomorrow. I'm curious to uh, find out because it is Easter and the end of the uh, big holiday. But San Miguel de Allende is a very touristy spot. It is a popular destination for North Americans, Americans and Canadians. And especially for uh, expats apparently living here, there's actually a pretty significant amount of uh, American citizens living here permanently. And so here is one of the amazing uh, plazas. And so I came today by bus from Guanajuato, which is about an hour and a half away. And it is very striking the difference between the two uh, cities here. Very different terrain, certainly part of the uh, difference and as a result then the uh, street layout is completely different in Guanajuato they had all these tunnels and hills they had to build you know tunnels through the hills and uh, very very narrow winding lanes here it's more wide open streets and here is a little informational plaque explaining this square it was the political administrative center of the village of San Miguel el Grande during the 16th and 17th centuries because its grounds housed the royal or consistorial houses, corn exchange, jail, and consequently the first main square or arms square. The lamentable state and the short dimensions that had the public buildings of a Spanish village that began to fill the sweetness of its splendor were the cause of several complaints as well as some proposals to invest in a new constructive project to dignify the headquarters of the civil power, a process that came true between the 1730s and 1760s, moving next to the current main square. And so what that is saying, as I understand it, is this was the uh, original main square, and then they decided that it was kind of getting worn down or whatever, and decided to rebuild, and then they moved the main square to another main square, which is just a block or so away. These cobblestone streets are some of the most bumpy that I have ever experienced. This is a great place to twist an ankle. Here it gets better, more flat. All right, so I think I will go up this way.
and these trees sure cool things down a lot. Now I'm going to uh, try to look for something. Yes, I think that is it up ahead. You can see those tall beings, costumes, which I guess might be uh, related to Semana Santa. <laughs> and the main square is straight up ahead as well. All right, check it out. Hola, ¿cómo está? ¿Es, es por uh, Semana Santa? Eh, no. No, Solo no. Por fotos, para fotos. Ahí sí. Ah. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, so it is not related to uh, Semana Santa, he says. Just some uh, very crazy death costumes. I'd be curious to know the uh, tradition behind those, so if anyone has some information, then let us know in the comments. And here we go at the main square. Here it says San Francisco. I guess that is the street. Unless that is the name of the square, so let's try to find out. Discope. ¿Qué es el nombre de uh, el plaza aquí? Uh, jardín principal. Uh, jardín principal. Okay, just principal main main yeah, plaza. Main main square. Cool. Thank you. And I'll walk through this really beautiful. Uh, tree garden here. And the main... All right, there goes the uh, cathedral. Donkeys, which by the way, you could call those burritos. Burrito actually means little donkey. Burro, burro is a donkey, burrito. I've eaten a lot of burritos and never knew that until just like a week ago or something. Apparently, the name might come from because they were served like off of donkey carts, something like that. And yes, burritos are actually a Mexican food, to the best of my understanding. Kind of regionally more in the north, I think. But then, of course, they have been kind of Americanized and there are the American versions of burritos. But it does at least originate from Mexico. Again, feel free to uh, provide some more info on that if you have an opinion on the subject. Food is always an interesting uh, 
point of discussion and sometimes contention because there are different stories and ideas of where different things came from. And so my uh, hostel is right down here. I'll walk down here and then finish up the video with a little hostel tour. And so I think that my hostel is right up here. Let's see. Yes. It's actually called Hotel Punto 79. That is the address. Hostel also. It has private rooms and dorm beds. Hola. And this is the dorm room. Thank you. 